Well, going back in time on the Steve Mumbling channel to 1977. Uh, where apparently this uh, this mockumentary, I stumbled across this the other day, this is a mockumentary, not a documentary. It's called Alternative 3, and I'll leave a link to this below. But apparently this is the source of uh, many conspiracy theorists thinking that, uh, you know, there's a secret space program, that uh, we've got bases on the moon and we've got bases on Mars, and there was, you know, landings on the moon and landings on Mars... Uh, before 1969, when it was actually done by, for the first time by Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin. And uh, I thought, really? And, uh, I, I, as I say, I stumbled across this and uh, I watched it, and it takes a little bit, you know, it's a bit slow in the beginning, but uh, it does sort of get going. And uh, I thought it was quite, uh, quite interesting, so I thought I'd uh, make you aware of it if you're not aware of it, and if you've got a spare hour, and if you're watching this video, I'm sure you have, now you can put your feet up with a coffee and some chunky digestives or maybe a cup of Earl Grey if you happen to be watching this uh, before noon in the UK. And uh, just, uh, just, just kick back and uh, have a look at this. I'm sure you'll get a chuckle out of it. Now, I'm not going to play much of it, but I'll show you a couple of clips. <laughs> Just that Robert, my brother, had got this grant to do some kind of work out there. <laughs> That's the last we heard. <laughs> and uh, remember, this is a, a mockumentary. I'm surprised, actually, that people fell for it. It was supposed to be broadcast on April the 1st, 1977, but there was some sort of problem with the scheduling. It didn't get broadcast till May the 20th. And uh, uh, a lot of people... Uh, mainly conspiracy theorists jumped on this and thought it was real and uh, ran with it apparently even though there are a couple of well-known actors in it there's uh, Mr Kipling of course from uh, Mr Kipling does make exceedingly good cakes as a professor and uh, then we've got uh, oh what's his name I think it might be Shane Rimmer is it uh, as astronaut Scott Brodin but uh, he has a very distinctive voice. It's the unmistakable voice of Scott Tracy from Thunderbirds. Scott Tracy, of course, being the operator, pilot operator of Thunderbird 1. OK, let's just go to... I'll uh, just move it up a bit here to 40. You can see, but as I'm flicking through it, you know, there's going to be some stuff in here that'll, that'll whet your appetite a bit. But uh, this I thought was quite funny. I'll just play you just a, a minute of it here and then I'll... I'll wind it up and leave you with a link so you can watch it if you like. I think it's 43 maybe. Yeah. Okay. We go back to there. And then hit that. These photographs from Viking 2 are to be believed. But are they? Charles Wellborn himself seemed surprised that the Americans, after spending so much money in putting the probe on the surface of Mars, should then equip it with a camera that only focused up to 100 meters, <laughs> or as Colin Benson suggested, the average size of a large film studio. What's your answer? <laughs> Starring Marcus Allen. <laughs> Alternative three. Okay. Well, there we are. It's just a very, very quick video, just to just to make you aware of this, so that uh, you know. You, I, I find it hard to believe that the conspiracy theorists would have seen this on the twentieth of May, not being April the first, and thought it and thought it was real. But uh, just take a look, and uh, uh, I'm sure you'll uh, I'm sure you get a bit of a chuckle out of it if you're interested in this sort of thing. And if you're watching this, you probably are. Okay, alternative three. Link below. Have fun.